Welcome learners, we are continuing our discussion on unit 9 that is all about promotion. This is the part 2 of the video of your promotion, it's on unit 9 of your marketing management course. So uh, in this small video, we shall take up these three learning objectives. We should be able to define advertising, what advertising is all about, what does advertising mean, definition of advertising. Then we should be able to understand, state the characteristics, types and objectives of advertising. What are the different characteristics of advertising? What are the different types of advertising? And what does advertising do? What are the objectives of advertising? And then we shall also be able to classify the advertising media. These three learning objectives we have taken up to be discussed in this small video and we should be able to understand all this. So what is advertising? Defining advertising. Advertising is a paid form of non-personal communication. About an organization, its products and activities that is transmitted through a mass medium to a target audience. So what advertising is? It's a paid form of non-personal communication. So there is no personal communication, it's non-personal. If there is personal communication, that we call say, we shall say as personal selling, direct selling, face to face. Advertising is not face to face. It is non-personal. It is a paid form, means you are going for TV advertisement, you will have to pay second wise. If you are going for newspaper advertisement, you will have to pay column wise. That's not it. That is directly paid for. So advertising, non-personal, directly paid for. These are the two things you will have to remember. So it could be about an organization. It could be about the products or services of the organization. And that is normally transmitted through a mass medium. What is a mass medium? Say radio, TV, newspaper, magazine. These are the mass medium. If it is direct mail, in that case that is not mass media. That is direct. So advertising is a paid form of non-personal communication about an organization, its products and services, activities that is transmitted to a mass media to a target audience. According to Philip Kotler, the noted renowned marketing expert, advertising is non-personal form of communication conducted through paid media, TV, newspaper, etc. under clear sponsorship. Clear sponsorship means after going to the advertisement, we know who is making this advertisement. Even if it is an advertisement of government of Assam, we know that government of Assam has given this advertisement. If it is pulse polio immunization, if it is COVID vaccination, government of Assam, we can identify. That is the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare or the State Digester Management Authority or the National Health Mission like that. We can identify the sponsor. So what are the characteristics of advertisement? Just now we have explained that it is non-personal communication, not personal communication. If it is personal communication, in that case, personal selling, face to face. Advertisement, non-personal communication. Paid form of communication by an identified sponsor. Paid form, inch-wise, column-wise, second-wise, the advertiser will have to pay. And we can know who is the advertiser is. It promotes ideas, goods, services to stimulate sales, to right, intensify demand. In case of print, we say it is a salesmanship in print. So advertisement provokes, advertisement induces, advertisement informs, persuades the consumers to buy the product. So what are the types of advertisement? So we can, right, it could be right, different types. It could be product advertising, it could be institutional advertising, it could be consumer and industrial advertising, it could be national advertising, it could be local advertising, it could be commercial advertising, it could be non-commercial advertising, it could be rational advertising, it could be emotional advertising. Let us try to understand each of these with the help of an example. Say product advertising, say marketers of Clinic Plus, Clinic Plus is advertised, that is product advertising. Institutional advertising, suppose an institution is advertising, say Royal Global University is making an advertisement, that is the institutional advertising, consumer advertising, industrial advertising, say dendrite hmm, is an industrial adhesive, that is an industrial adhesive, dendrite, small pair, 
it is available at a stationary shops. That is a consumer goods advertising. National advertising, say national literacy mission, national age control organization, these are at the national level. Local advertising, say the government of Assam, religious and advertisement, right, for prevention of AIDS on the World AIDS Day on 1st December. That is a local advertising. Or say it could be commercial advertising, it could be non-commercial advertising. Clinic Plus is a commercial advertising. National Literacy Mission, Chalo Parhaiye Kush Kar Dikhaiye is a non-commercial advertising. Or say Pulse Polio Immunization, Do Boon Jindegi Ki is a non-commercial thing. Rational and Emotional Advertising. So it is a blending, right? We are having two sides of the brain. One is at the for the emotional processing, the other one is for the rational processing. So take the example of say prestige cooker. Right? Zo bibi she kare pyar, prestige she kase kare in car. Means what? Zo bibi she kare pyar, that is the emotional part. Prestige she kase kare in car, that's the rational part. Because the prestige cooker has to is highly safe. So we are basically basically focusing on the rational aspect the rational buying behavior of safety. Pressure cooker has to be safe. The gasket, the whistle, right, the use, it has to be safe. So the, the love for the wife is the emotional plank. So rational plank, emotional plank, that is also there. So what are the objectives of advertising? We have been talking about promoting new product. A new product is being launched, that has to be promoted. Creating awareness, Building brand image, say Colgate Churak Sasakra, right? That's a brand image. Creating a favorable disposition, don't right? go for other things. This is the right product. So means what? The customers will have a favorable perception, disposition about the product. Facing competition, we can stay ahead of our competition, assisting salesman's approach. The salesman who would be working in the field, if the product is well advertised, their job becomes easier if the products are well advertised and well received. And advertising media, basically three main types of media. One is print media, the other one is broadcast media, the third one is interactive multimedia. Print media, as we all know, newspaper, magazine, right? We get up in the morning, we see the newspaper, we find some advertisement, isn't it? Tender advertisements, right? Recruitment, right? Some advertisement we see. These are all print media, magazine. So compared to newspaper, magazine have got certain advantages. Newspaper, you see, we read in the morning, hurried reading. And many times we postpone reading. In the evening, if I get time, I'll see details. But evening, suppose if I don't get time, the next day morning, the next day, newspaper arrives. But in case of magazine, we normally go for a leisurely reading. Those of you who are traveling by, by flight, in the flight, the in-flight magazine is there. So the in-flight magazine, you go through a very leisurely reading, is not it? You have to spend two to three hours of time on the flight. So you see the magazine. So you see the details. So it's a leisurely reading. Packaging also. Packaging also called as a silent salesperson. Many times we get lots of information in packaging. Then the broadcast media, it, radio, television, we get lots of advertisement. And television, as we all know, it has got the audio visual appeal. Films. We are going to see a multiplex before the main field. There will be a number of right, advertisements. We see that. Whether we, are, we see that, we enjoy that. But basically, that's a compulsion. Because there is no other things to do. And then interactive media, transit media, we have advertising. Websites also, we find lots of advertisement. And then interactive media, transit media, say Dabur Savan Pras. Now, nationally it is advertised, at the same time, the double vehicles also, the national suburban press will be widely flashed. And that will move along the geographical territory. So many people are likely to see that. So the, and the salesperson will be there on the vehicle, so they can directly interact with the salesperson also. And that was one of the promotional strategy Dabur adopted to reach to the rural markets. They sent those vehicles to the rural markets, the periodic markets, the hot bazaar, and they sold the products. So these are the basic things that we have discussed in this particular unit. What advertising is all about and what are the objectives of advertising and what are the types of advertising. Thank you very much. And we shall discuss the other two things in the remaining videos.